Shumai everyone, how are you all? Um, I decided I'm going to start a new little series. So on a Saturday or Sunday, I'm going to have scrapbook Saturday or Sunday. Tuesday, I'm going to have 10 minute Tuesday. So I'm going to do something that takes less than 10 minutes. On a Friday is going to be free flow Friday. And I'm just going to choose a paper crafting activity to do. I'm trying to make it a bit easier to stick to doing three videos a week. This week has been absolutely chaotic in work and I haven't managed to do that at all. So I'm hoping now to do quite a bit of filming all in one time and then schedule the posts. Fingers crossed it works. So today, this is 10 Minute Tuesday. And this is the card I'm making. Now then, this is a double Z full card. I'll put a link to one I've done previously. I've done a very girly one before. But this one is a bit more masculine. And the idea came about for this one when I was discussing a balloon festival in work. And it got me thinking about using a Z-fold card to create the, um, the feeling that there were balloons up in the sky. Now this set is still in the annual catalogue. It's called Lift Me Up. And the framelits are up and away. But remember, I've done that little trick on the front for just putting the name of the stamp set that they coordinate with. And I will just show you where they are in the annual catalogue. So there it is. That's on page 34. So you can see there's lots of different ways to use it. And the matching framelits are here. They're on page 221. There's lots you can do with the framelet because you, you've you also got this one here, if you can see that, which gives you a really detailed one. Let me show you in the pack. And then it's got the strips then that you could cut out colours to go behind it. So this is it. It's really detailed. But then if you wanted to lay the back of it, You've got all the little pieces then to make up your balloon shape. So I'm going to put that now to one side. If excuse, I'm a bit croaky again today. Um, my asthma is giving me a bit of problem at the moment, so I've been doing a lot of coughing, which then affects my voice. So here, here's the card. Now I've done quite a bit of the preparation ready to keep it 10 minutes or less. But I'll talk through the measurements. So here it is. This is the main part of the card. And the piece of card that I've used is 12 inches by 7 and 3 quarters. I have then scored at 3 and 6 inches. Then you cut a 2 inch strip off the bottom, which becomes this part. Okay. I have got the measurements here, so I'll just talk through that again. So your card base is 12 by 7 and 3 quarters. Score at 3 and 6 inches. Cut a 2 inch strip off the bottom. So the panels, the main card on here, these two pieces are 2 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters. Then, this large panel here is five and three quarters squared. But, what I'm finding, I'm trying to cut it a little bit less, because as you can see, I've gone more up to the edge there, and I wanted a little bit of a gap around it. So if I were you, I would cut it just slightly less than five and three quarters down here. And then your small panels across here is six inches, or just under six inches by two inches. And these are two and three quarters by just under two inches. Okay, so if I just, here we are, if it's easier, then you could take a bit of a screenshot of the measurements. And put that to one side. So as you can see, I have, I've done the sticking on ready. So I'm going to fold it now. So this one is going to be a mountain fold. This one is going to be a valley fold. So obviously your mountain fold, the edge of your card comes up and the valley fold, the edge of your card goes down. So that's the main card. I wanted then, I, the papers I'm using, 
were have been retired I'm, as i said before i am trying to use up my paper stash but i wanted the clouds more balloons and then as if the, the clouds sorry the balloons are high above the ground so this one then is a valley fold this one is a mountain fold so i've done a little sentiment thing i'm just looking at the time on the video i need to start working a little bit faster there we go so the colours I've used are mint macaron or macaroon macaron and um, native navy. So I've got two little sentiments. My one sentiment says, hope your day is on cloud nine. Happy birthday. And my other sentiment says, sending smiles across the miles. Now in my other video, I'm making a double Z full card. I talked about how it's important to stick one side down first. I have found that an easier way of ensuring that it all folds correctly. So I'm only sticking the left hand side down first. Then I'm going to stick my balloons on. So this one is just sort of rising up here. My next balloon then is going up here. But when I'm going to make sure now that I'm only sticking it on the one side so the balloon is hanging off as if it's disappearing at the distance and this little balloon is going down here so it's not just sticking to my finger there it is okay so that's that part and as you can see this part is still flapping about so what I suggest is make sure is in exactly the right place for the fold just move that down slightly and then what i tend to do is carefully lift it up put a bit of glue underneath and then put it down and just press on it to make sure it's in the right place when i first tried it i put glue at both ends completely and then realised that I didn't have a correct fold in the middle. It was all sort of, it wasn't opening and folding nicely. So then my last balloon is going here. So that's how it then looks. So as you can see, you're looking at the sentiment and the balloons are flying. And then as you open it up, you can see the full effect of the card and that's how it looks when it stands up so that's why they call it a double z card so i hope you found that useful i will put a link um in the description bar just to show you the other z fold card i've done because i i go through it a little bit slower there thank you all so much for watching welcome to all my new subscribers if you haven't yet subscribed i'd love you to hit the subscribe bar button and if you'd like to see what I'm doing in the future, if you hit that little notification bell, it'll keep you up to date. So I shall see you the next time for Free For All Friday. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Heil Vaur.